Oh, what's good, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube? So let me tell you, on today's menu, we got one of my favorite dishes of all time. Now, I know I say that a lot, but if I don't like it, I don't cook it. That's just how I roll. So, you know, whenever I do a dish, I like to research it, do my homework, see where it gets its roots from. And this dish originally started in South Carolina. I was surprised to see just how deeply rooted this dish is in our culture. What I'm talking about is shrimp and grits. So let's get these hands washed and then we can get to cooking. So I just got to grab a few things out of here. I'm going to need an onion, some garlic, a little butter. Woohoo! Need these sandouille sausage. It's great. And can't forget my smoked gouda. Got a few things. I think I can carry it all. Hold on. Some green onions. All right, wait. Yeah, hold on. And the star of the show. I got my shrimp. It's in uh, some buttermilk. It's gonna be good, I'm trying to tell you. All right, so let's get this thing started. So, I got nothing but good stuff right here. I'm about to start on these peppers. So I got some red peppers. That is like the vibrant color of the red peppers. I mean, you can get green, get yellow, but I like the red. So I'm gonna take two sides of the pepper and we're gonna dice them up. So, like I say, you know, this dish, I was really surprised to see just how deeply rooted it is in our culture. It started in South Carolina with the Gullah tribe from West Africa. And they were brought over for slavery, but they were also really good farmers. And so what they would farm, what is now known as uh, Carolina gold rice. And it's basically a short grain rice that's like chopped up, you know, basically the, the ends of all the long grain rice. After the long grain rice is cut and everything, all the droppings, that's what they use because that's basically what was provided to the slaves. So they would cook the rice similar to the way that we cook grits nowadays with water, some butter, some uh, milk. And, you know, them being on the Gulf Coast, they, you know, have plenty of seafood. So shrimp and grits, back then was shrimp and rice, elevated the shrimp and grits. So this is one of those dishes that literally came from the ground up and now is on mainstream uh you know menus nowadays so i got my pepper diced up I'm going to dice up my onion here i'm not going to use this whole thing i'm just going to use about half of it so you know it's it's really good to look beyond the plate and just see you know, the origins of where something that you love comes from, because everything has a story. All right, so I'm going to get these onions chopped up, and then after that, I'm going to get to my garlic. I like to call this my holy trinity. Every good dish starts with a little onion, a little pepper, and some fresh garlic. I'm going to pick out some nice clothes. Just need about three, four clothes. I'm going to take the flat end of the knife and just smash it. And these don't have to be perfectly diced or anything. It's going to do a nice rough chop on. But you know, this 
shrimp and grits is just one of my favorite dishes. It's just, it's so simple, but it's just so like soothing and just like, it's like comfort food. So I got my Holy Trinity here. Now I'm about to start on my grits, get those started. So I have my saucepan over there. I have four cups of water. I'm going to add a little cream to it and some um, bouillon. Uh, chicken bouillon, basically like chicken broth. It's going to help season up the water. You know, it's funny. My wife always gets on me because rice and grits are the only things I got to measure. I, I just, she has that, that special gift. She just be throwing it in the pot to come out perfect. Not me. So I can make sauces and steaks and all that other stuff, but when it comes to rice and uh, grits, I got to measure it. So I got my four cups over here. I'm about to get that started. All right, so I'm about to start on my grits. So to this pot, I have four cups of water. Uh, added a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Basically going to flavor up that water. To that, per the instructions, it says one cup of grits. So I like to do it over, so over the pot, so if any falls, it just goes into the pot. Less mess. Nice heaping cup of grits. Boom. Just like that. Now, the key with grits is to make sure you get stirring as soon as they get in there to get all the lumps out. Once that's done, I'm going to turn the heat down and I'm going to add some heavy cream. It's going to give a nice creaminess to my grits. So adding probably about a half a cup. All right. So my grits are working. So I'm going to bring that to a boil. Once that comes to a boil, I'm going to put the lid on it and set it, forget it. Now I'm about to start on my andouille sausage. So to this recipe, I'm kind of giving it a little bit of a Creole flair. So I have some smoked andouille sausage. My grits are popping, so don't want no Al Green issues going on. So cover them up. All right, so I'm about to start on my saucepan right here. So like I said, I'm going to give it a little bit of a Creole flair to it. I got some smoked andouille sausage. I got my Holy Trinity with my peppers, onions, and garlic. I'm about to get that all working. And I have my seasonings here. So I have a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. I have some smoked paprika. And to this, I have some complete seasoning, Italian seasoning, and lemon pepper. So I'm going to add that to my Holy Trinity. So to get this started, I'm going to add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just a little little bit little container a little bit get it all right i'm corny so that's in there now i'm about to add my uh, holy trinity to it first goes the garlic now we got our peppers and onions Grab me a spoon, get this all stirred up. Now I'm going to add my seasonings, my Old Bay. My complete and Italian seasoning and lemon pepper. And my smoked paprika. Alright, so now once this all gets sweated down and becomes translucent, I'm going to cut up my sausage and add that to the pan. The sausage is going to bring its own uh, oil and flavor to it. And then I'm going to take about half of this mixture, put it in a blender. Once I put it in a blender, it's going to make its own sauce. I'm going to deglaze it with a little bit of white wine. I'm going to add a little chicken stock to it. 
and a teaspoon of tomato paste. Like I said, I'm giving it a little Creole flair, so you got that South Carolina, you know, shrimp and grits going on. You got that Creole uh, andouille sausage. And with my shrimp, I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm not sauteing it. Most recipes have you sauteing the shrimp. I'm actually, like I said, I got it soaking in buttermilk. I'm going to fry the shrimp. So it kind of gives you that shrimp, that uh, fried fish and grits, but it's going to be fried shrimp with the andouille sausage. All this is coming together. It's about to be beautiful. All right, so now this is singing, sounding good, smelling good. All right, I'm gonna check on my grits real quick. Grits look perfect. So now I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna add some butter to it. Cause what's grits without a little butter? Alright, got a little butter. About to add to it. Now the star of the show, about to add some of my smoked Gouda cheese, because there's no better cheese than smoked Gouda. So I'll open this up real quick. Let me get this. So you know. Whenever you find something that you like, always see, you know, what kind of history is behind that. Because, you know, somebody, you know, thought about that dish and brought it to fruition and now it's on the table near you. And you never know where that dish actually came from. So now to this, I'm going to shred my cheese. It looks about good. We'll make it rain. Actually, I think I need just a little bit more. My personal preference. Never have too much cheese. Alright. So now I'm going to get this all stirred in. Now I'm going to work on my andouille sausage. So I'm going to nicely julienne this sausage. Basically just means, you know, cutting it on an angle. So now, I'm going to deglaze this pan with a little white wine. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. So, you know, I said I'm working on my measuring, so that's probably about a fourth of a cup. I'm not doing too much because you don't want it real soupy. 
you just want to get a nice little thick sauce. So to that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of tomato paste. All right. So now we got all this working together. Uh, all right, so I'm going to add just a little bit of butter. Give this a quick stir. And this right here is basically done. Like I said, I'm going to take a little bit of this out, blend it up so it's nice and smooth. All right. So, always want to make sure uh, to make this taste really good, you got to flip it in the pan. That's the only way because the air, when it mixes with the molecules and then it hits the pan, it gives it a whole new flavor. I'm just kidding. You don't got to do that, but I'm going to do it for you. See? All right, never mind. So now we get the star of the show. Got my shrimp, which has been marinated in buttermilk and sriracha. So I'm taking this old school for you. This is how my mom fried chicken, fried fish. Get you a bag, not a paper bag. Nice plastic bag from the stove. From the stove. All right, and for y'all that have problems with your frying every chicken, I'm, I'm giving you a little tip, okay? If you buy this right here, now I can use a plug, House Archery. If you buy this right here, no problems with your chicken, with your fish, with everything. This flour is seasoned to perfection. Don't need to add nothing. It's just, it is what it is. So I got my bag here. I'm about to add my flour to it. I'll just dump your shrimp in here. Not the whole bowl. Pick it out nice and neat. I know some of y'all literal and be like, dump the whole bowl? No, don't dump the whole bowl. So I got a pound of colossal shrimp. So it's about 20 shrimp. All right. Well, Twist it and we just it's a little messy, but all right, you drop your basket down and now just drop your shrimp. All right, so I'm going to get everything ready. This is the pan to catch my shrimp once it comes out. Give it a little toss. All right, so the shrimp. As everybody knows, it doesn't take long at all to cook. You don't want to overcook your shrimp because the shrimp will be a nice little rocks. So, nice golden brown. Give it just a few more minutes. And once they start floating, they're going to be perfect. 
once the shrimp comes up, I'm gonna plate all this up and it's gonna be marvelous. Stick with me, okay? All right, so here you go. This is my play on shrimp and grits with a little Creole flair. So um, next time you uh, have an anchoring for something, go check it out, see what the history is because you'd be surprised what you find. So, you know, thank you again for watching. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me, Instagram, YouTube, that Philly Chef. Follow me on EB Network. Um, and like always, you know, I love to cook because I love to fill your belly. Filling your belly fills my heart. Cooking something fresh, yes, showing up. But you never know who it all started with the daddy daughter food.